Outriders official gameplay reveal trailer just dropped minutes ago. So come on back and let's check this out. What J Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. Oh, what is happening in it with the millions? <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. You are right here with J-Rock. And J-Rock is here to check out the Outriders official gameplay reveal trailer. Let's waste no time and let's check this out. All right, so paint the scene for me. Where are we right here? This is the war zone. When your outrider first wakes up from cryo sleep, it's yeah. right into this hellhole. And, you know, basically the idea is that one of the aspects of the anomaly is that it kills all electronics more complicated than a light bulb. So humanity has been reduced to sort of um, pre-World War I technology. So that's, that's what this feels like. It's like trenches and tanks, but on an alien planet. <laughs> Um, the enemies you're fighting, these are the insurgents who mm. are your, your, the ECAs at war with. Yeah. Uh, of course, they don't call themselves that. They call <laughs> themselves the exiles. And, you know, understanding the whole tragic story behind this war is a big part of the, the mystery that you're solving. Right now, we're looking at the trick. See the temporal slice, so first ability. Yeah. You see that you're slowing everyone and later killing them. Right now, this is slow trap, so... That's really cool. You are, okay. you are fast, but you can even slow down yeah, the damage, yeah. which makes you even faster. And that's cool. Even the, bul the bullets going in slow motion inside that bubble. So you ain't really moving fast, you're just moving slow. Yeah, 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 but Neo couldn't slow down the Jeep, so if you explode <laughs> someone, <yes. laughs> Body parts, we fly in right. slow, motion. Motion. slow motion. Right, yeah. right. I noticed that your health slow motion was for me. How did you heal, though? Yeah. You're receiving some part of the health through your assassination. So that whole idea of doing damage is what gives you your health back. Wow. Here we are healing when you are close to the enemies, and we are killing them. So the more enemies around you, the better. And the skill we are seeing is the earthquake. So basically, it's like a Ooh, better okay, shot. Okay, okay. So you can synergize it together and kill a lot of enemies in the close, close combat. Oh, the next skill we see right now is the basically armor. It's a golem. Oh, that's we are cool. changing it to the. Almost indestructible guy. Yeah. So we can ah, more okay. More time. Yeah, more uh -huh. That's exactly what I need. Yeah, <laughs> I exactly. need to be more tanky. Oh, uh, I like it. I like how his skin is like rock solid. Yeah. Yeah. His or her, depending on which way you decide to go in customization. The thing from the Fantastic Four with the. Yeah, this is one of the first large hubs in the game you come yeah. to. You know, basically, like after those who are loyal to the ECA have retreated into this rift for protection. This is like one of the first places on Enoch mm -hmm. where a kind of civilization this place. Yeah. But it's also the first time in the game that you really get to slow down yeah. and start to kind of explore and start to kind of unravel some of the mysteries that are a key part of this game. Yeah, yeah. it feels desolate but hopeful at the very same time. So, so we can receive money for it. So we, our money is called scrap, basically. Oh, okay. And then if you have bad luck, let's say, in the world finding the cool loot, you can buy it through the vendors. Or maybe you are missing some item that you want. Or maybe there will be some uh, mod that you want to purchase. You can do this through scrap. All right, all about that scrap. Keep it in your <laughs> pocket. How do I move from one environment and get to the next? So the story is carrying you forward, and the journey is really important. And every time you kind of move, you open up a whole new area adjacent to your hub. And once you've captured an area, so to speak, you can fast travel in between them. Oh, is that what that flag? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Ah, right. oh, got yeah. it. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Where are we here? So this is the first city that I mentioned earlier, okay. which is now totally in ruins. Yeah. This I is a city. I don't see a city. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be. This was sort of like like the place that the colonization started. Right. Um, that that huge thing that we saw on the horizon, like dominating the skyline. So that's the engine of the arc ship that brought us here. Mm -hmm. And the, the whole idea of the colonization plan was that that was mm. going to be our nuclear energy source that would power the city. Right. But then the anomaly hit, and oh, that anomaly. thing melted down, and it irradiated half the city. And you know, those who could escaped into Rift Town, and those who couldn't, the exiles, were trapped out here. So this is this is now home base of the insurgents. Whoa! You're moving into their territory now. 
And that's okay, a one hit a quitter right there. Pyromancer. This is uh, a lot of fire. Yeah. <laughs> this is Pyromancer. All is about the fire and that. This place is filled with enemies. It's filled with ah. really dangerous monsters. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those things are really fucked up, man. <laughs> you are not fighting only with humanoid dangers. Yeah. Those yeah. are the creatures that mutated from ah, the peaceful creatures. Now they are not, not that. There is no cute creatures anymore here. <laughs> <laughs> because you are powerful, you are almost gone your skills. But the threat is even more dangerous, so you have to fight with really, really nasty creatures in your journey. Oh man, all right, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm not like into shooting creatures unless they're like really scary. Yeah, really so really this bad. is this is right <laughs> in my alley right here. Uh, <laughs> Coming out on PS5, which means you'll be able to play it on PS4. Well, I had that backwards. It's coming out on PS4, which means you'll be able to play it on PS5. But I'm sure they have a PS5 version as well. Uh, this game looks pretty good. You know, I like the concept. You know, it's a cover shooter type game, but you combine some uh, elements of, you know, supernatural elemental type powers. I wonder what else kind of powers they got. Do they got lightning? They got earth? And they got fire, you can freeze, you know, time or slow it down rather. So I'm wondering what else kind of powers they would have associated with this game. Obviously it's gonna have a multiplayer. We all saw that. We could just see it. But I'm interested in seeing more about the single player. So I'll be keeping my eyes open on this game, because J Rock will be playing and laying on SmackDown on all their candy ass. Post comments down below, let J Rock know what you thought of this video. If you appreciate it and enjoyed. J-Rock's reaction to this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and share, subscribe, subscribe, yeah, hit that subscribe button and join the people's family as J-Rock goes on this electrifying journey to 1 million subscribers, okay? Also, check the other videos out on my channel, you'll see some pop-ups here in just a second, so make sure you go and check those videos out as well. Lastly, hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock, until we meet again. Mamba and Gigi forever. If you smell, ow, what J Rock is.